Hello YouTube friends, and today's tutorial how to make a face mask. In today's crazy world of superbugs like viruses and germs, another way to protect yourself is to wear a face mask. As you know, I believe that our healthcare workers should have first dibs on masks like the N95. I also know that we are limited on any type of masks right now, so today I'm going to show you how I made my own face mask. Now I know this is not the professional N95 mask, but any mask is better than no mask. So what do you think? So let's get started. The first thing I do is fold this disposable face mask. Then I spread out the front pleated section. As you know, the CDC has also published regarding homemade masks and it's used to prevent the spreading of the virus. Then I make a cardboard template. I just used an old file folder. I use a black marker to make it more visible. And at this point, I just draw a straight line to connect them. So depending on your measurements of your face, you may want to make it a little bit bigger. Then I draw a dotted line to give me play where my stitch will be. Then I proceed to cut out the template. And this is my old Hawaiian shirt. Boy, I'm gonna miss that shirt. So the fabric store in my area has shut down because of this pandemic. So I had to be a little creative. And yes, I'm gonna really miss that Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> I tell you though, when we went on vacation in Hawaii, the locals thought I was Hawaiian. And then we went on vacation to Mexico, and the locals thought I was Mexican. Filipinos seem to blend pretty good. <laughs> so now I'm tracing my first piece. And the Hawaiian print will be on the outside of the mask. Then I trace a second one. Now I proceed to cut out the two pieces. So these two pieces will represent the outside part of the mask. Now I'm going to need the inside part of the mask, and that's going to be our old cotton pillowcase. Now I trace my template, and like I said before, these two pieces will be the inside of the mask. Now I proceed to cut it out. Now don't judge me on my cutting, I'm not a pro at this, but I do know how to sew. My mother actually taught me how to sew in high school, which now helps me out doing this YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, that looks like some bad cutting. I'm gonna blame it on the scissors. Now I'm going to sew the outside area right here. And just a reminder, this material will be the inside part of the mask. And the Hawaiian print is the outside part of the mask. And this is the outer edge that I'm also going to sew. So before we sew, please don't forget, the good side of the print has to face each other. Now I'll iron the pieces to get the wrinkles out. Now I'll sew the two pieces together, but only this part right here. Now you're gonna say, wow Jonah, you sew pretty fast. 
No, I'm just fast forwarding the video for you. <laughs> and again, just a reminder, the good side of the print are facing each other. Now I'll sew the two pieces together. And the same spot right here. Now notice that stitch line. Now I'll take my scissor and just make little slits on the outside without cutting into the stitch line. And like I said, be careful not to cut into the stitch line. Just make a cut every inch or so. Now I'll do the same thing with this piece. Just make sure you do not cut into the stitch line. Now that we have both our pieces together, we can open them up. Now we flip the other piece so the good stitch are facing each other and the rough stitch are on the outside. Then I'll sew both opposite sides. This bottom side will be the chin and the top side will be the nose area. Notice I place some pins at the edge just so it keeps the material together and it does not move. Now I carefully sew that area. And next I'll do the opposite side. And so far this is what we have. Now I carefully flip it inside out. Wow, it looks better already. Just to let you know, when finished, this mask will be washable. But I suggest only hand wash in hot water and soap. So now, we have to use a bridge support for the nose. You can use garbage tie like this right here, or even pipe cleaners. Just cut it about 3 inches long. And we'll just slip it inside the side here, and position it in the nose bridge area. Now I'm going to go by feel and we're going to sew it so it doesn't move around. But I'm going to flip it and sew it from the inside. Just make sure you don't hit it because you might break your needle. Then I'll sew the ends so it won't slip off. And let's take a look. So far so good. Now I'm going to fold in the strap ends and give it a quick iron. Then fold it again to create our hole 
so that our elastic will go through. And again, a quick iron. Then I sew the edges. So I do this on both sides. Also, depending on the thickness of your elastic, make sure it's big enough that it will go through. And these are the two elastic garters I'm going to use. If you don't have these, you can use strings or a rubber band. And depending on the measurement of your face, 8 to 10 inches should do. But it's always good to go bigger because you can always trim it later. And I use an old coat hanger to put it through the hole. So on my next video, I'll make another mask that you can put a filter in. You can find that on my link on my thumbnails at the end of this video. Then I sew the ends together. Then I pull the garter through to hide the stitch. Give it a better look. And there you go, much better. And we are done. So comment below and tell me what you think and see if I missed anything. And if my video has helped you out, give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you always get my latest video. And as always, thanks for watching.